You know, I've found that the number one block to becoming an entrepreneur is actually a block that we create ourselves. It's the problem of the paradigm block, as I call it. Let me give you an example. If I ask you to think of an entrepreneur, right, you're doing that now, I bet you can think of the Richard Bransons and the Elon Musks of the world. And that's true, they are entrepreneurs and, you know, they're a type of entrepreneur, judged by the, the revenue they make and the global impact that they have. But the problem with that is, if you think that is all that it means to be an entrepreneur, is that you start saying, well, hold on, I'm not like those guys. I can't do what they do. I'm not wired like that. But actually, being an entrepreneur is more than just that. And so we need a real sound theology of entrepreneurialism. And we actually find that right back in Genesis chapter 1. You see, firstly, we need to recognise we've been created in God's image. Now, you know, God is the number one entrepreneur. Think about it. He looked at the world and said, or, or what was there, and said, I can create something which reflects my glory. And so he brought it to pass. And then he said, let's create mankind in our image. And then he did that. And then he said, right, you guys go and create. In fact, Adam's number one task was to name the animals. That's the ability to see and to create. And we've been created in that image. We often understand that being created in God's image is in terms of our ability to love and show mercy and grace. But have we thought and wondered that maybe it's also about intent and purpose? But secondly, it's also about understanding what stewardship is. See, the problem is we think stewardship is about protectionism. You know, we've got to steward the small kind of money that we have because we don't want to lose it because that's all we've got. We want to be wise. But actually, biblical stewardship is actually about investing. We all know about the story of the parable of the talents in Matthew 25. In fact, it was that that servant that actually protected it, that was rebuked. And so entrepreneurialism is about A, recognising we're created in God's image. There's opportunities to create around us. But second of all, taking what's in our hand and investing that to bring that idea to pass.